All right, Brother Greg, I want I got one I want to run by you and see if you're aware of this. Uh, something that was shared with me not too long ago. We ha we get we've done a lot of space missions that people don't even know we do. And there was one, uh, there's actually a couple of missions that we had sent uh, up to the moon. Uh, the Russians had sent some cosmonauts, and and the cosmonauts ended up, were, were all killed. Um, and we were going up there, and we'd been collecting these rocks uh, and bringing them back to Earth. And I think they said we'd brought back about 400 of these rocks. Well, then they, we sent the mission back up, and we had known that the cosmonauts had mysteriously gotten killed on the moon. Didn't know what had happened. Of course, it was never reported in the news. People didn't know that any of this had taken place. And while, the, um, while when we landed up there and they were collecting the rocks, one, one of the uh, uh, astronauts, he he was saying that they he was being attacked by some kind of alien entity while they were there and nobody could figure out what in the world he was talking about now the one thing that they all saw they kept saying the rocks were moving like shaking or vibrating and uh he said that he said that when the friend of mine that, that knew about this, he said he he actually saw, he said, the photographic images. He said, you know, they all had, he said, one of the things that actually kind of alerted him, I'm kind of jumping around with this a little bit. He said, we have all kind of monitors on the astronauts. He said, we monitor their respiration, their heart rate, stuff like that. He said, when that one guy was talking about on the radio that they were, he was in some kind of an altercation with entities, he said, we noticed that their, their vital signs were going off the charts. And uh, he said, so we told them that they needed to abort the mission. He said, even the little Range Rover that they had there on the moon, he said, they don't even know how it got flipped over, but the thing got flipped over and they couldn't bring it back. And um, he said, but when they did, he said, when they got inside the spacecraft, he said, one of the other cameras, when they were photographing, uh, because one of the astronauts died in the spacecraft trying to come back to Earth. So when they did the photographs, in his helmet, he said you could see through the glass of his helmet, he was covered with spiders. He said, and what they figured was that the, he said the best they could figure out was that the rocks that they were collecting would shift from looking like a rock to turning into a spider. And they said they had noticed in the photo, too, that those spiders somehow had cut a slit or an incision in that spacesuit, crawled up in there and killed him. He said that, he, I said, what did they, I said, I assume they got back to Earth. What did they figure out? He said, no, he said, we never would let it enter back into Earth. He said the decision was made that they could not risk uh, something like that getting on Earth. He said, we destroyed the spacecraft in space so that they could not return. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know if you've heard of those things. Well, you remember uh, when our astronauts was up there, I don't remember, was it Buzz Aldridge or whoever, said, what is that thing out there in the distance up in it hovering? It's looking right at us. Now, you can pull it up on the Internet. They'll, they'll let you hear it on YouTube. What, what is that thing? It looks like it's staring right at us. Now it's gone. You can you can look it up on right. YouTube, right? And so they had, and that's why when he came back, he said that there are things up there. There are things up there, and. I, I did you get and I just want to run this is skipping around I want to run this past you did you get what I got sent you about the cobalt I have to look brother no I did not I'll I'll go back and check my email on that did, would you do email it or okay. was it by text text oh I 30, did I do remember that yes it, I it think it only takes 30 grams of cobalt to radiate one third of the earth after it's been exploded. Yes. Yes. So they're playing with this stuff at CERN. 
and it scares me to no end. Yeah. Wow. Well, you know, a friend of mine, uh, his grandfather was a German scientist that was involved. Uh, he actually got, I think he got arrested because he didn't want to do the work that Hitler wanted to do. But he told me a lot about the cobalt bomb because he knew about that. It's not the explosive power it has, it's the radiation power it has. It has, look, 30 grams gives you 5.2 uh, kilotons of explosion, 30 grams, but can wipe out one third of the earth with its radiation. Mm -hmm. And in 140 years, you could go back there and stay for a couple of minutes and have to leave. In 200 years, you could stay a little bit longer and have to leave. They've already exploded tiny, bitty particles of it. They've already exploded wow. it. Mm. That yeah. is crazy. That is absolutely. Yeah. Now, did you know about some of these secret space mi missions and stuff that we did like that in space? Had you ever heard of those things? Oh, yeah. Yeah, plenty of them. Um, we've already been to Mars and back. Yes, I knew that as well. And, uh, and, and I know we've... entities up on Mars, too. Yes, I've heard there's exoskeleton-type creatures on Mars. Well, they've got some films of what looks like a Bigfoot on Mars. Bigfoot's nothing but an interdimensional being, too. I've heard that as well. I have actually and then they heard that. On Mars. And they say that you know, Bigfoot can run over 100 miles an hour. Yeah, you're, you're not going to get away from him if he's in, you know. But they seem to, uh, I guess they have, ki they do kill. But they kill when people won't believe. They know what to do to make people not believe that they did it. And you can't catch one and you can't kill one because it's too fast and it's interdimensional. When it comes into reality, the split second that you see it, if you don't shoot it, you, you're not going to ever get it. Wow. That's why there's not one. Hmm. That's, that's why they don't have bodies of them. Because you can't kill something that's, that's see-through just air my goodness and i and it's just terrible and, but all these things are coming down all of them I, i'm i'm talking about probably <clears throat> within a year we'll see just about everything we want to see i do believe but, that okay. i do believe it like i said on our broadcast on israeli news live there there was a um uh russia right now is experiencing a lot of these uh, uh, from from the quantum, the CERN, the, the well, interdimensional, the right, the interdimensional openings there, they're seeing a lot of the giants and entities, said, but they're really trying hard to keep it suppressed. Well, nobody can be able to keep it suppressed long. That's why they're starting to come out with disclosure, because they don't want to look like liars. Yep, 